Hello, everyone. Welcome to Court of the Rings here on twitch.tv slash LotroStream, youtube.com slash Lord of the Rings slash live, and facebook.com slash Lotro. I am Lotro's community manager, Cordovan. Thank you so much for being here today. We are going to have a chill stream today. It's been uh, a pretty fun week for me, but I've been kind of in and out of the office. Yeah, I'm just not ready to, to handle anything too too big time here today. So uh, I'm going to just kind of putz around the Spring Festival, pick up some stuff, and I may just also be because I need ingredients, man. And the uh, festival's running through the 8th. So, But next weekend is PAX, so it's going to be hard for me to get my time in. So this is my time. This is my time to get ingredients for the Spring Festival. So come with me and enjoy festival gathering ingredients. So... There we go. Also want to say hello to Druid's Fire. Joining me here today. How you doing? I'm doing splendid. We're just looking forward to PAX next week. Cool. How is 3-3-S doing? Yeah, he's sitting next to me. He is uh, watching Minecraft videos on YouTube while I stream here today. Oh, yeah, except for one of them. Yeah, that's a different game. Okay. But uh, I've got him this week. He uh, he heads back to his uh, mother's this weekend, and I'll, I'll have him then for the summer here as well. But... Uh, but that's why I have different headphones on today, because he's got my headphones watching Minecraft videos on YouTube, as kids his age are wont to do. So, anyway, uh, enough about that, though. Let me get to a little bit of the news. Hope you enjoyed last week's stream. I thought it went really well. I know I am Tobias, but I thought it went pretty well. And I'd hope to be able to do that sort of thing again in the future. I couldn't tell you when, uh, but I, I had told... Seven, Dr. Octorthorpe, I was like, you guys need to be ready because I'm going to ask you some of the tougher questions that have been coming up in the community and, and you better have answers for them. Um, and I think we were able to, to get that. You know, maybe it was uh, a lot of, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that kind of answers. But overall, I think we were able to get a lot of good stuff on last week's Q&A. And that's in large part thanks to uh, your excellent use of questions, asking things well, asking things um, uh, without going into kind of personal attacks or anything like that. And actually, the troll level at the last week's show was really, really low. So I, I really want to appreciate just uh, everyone's courtesy and respect during that stream. And that kind of thing means we can probably do it more. So that that's really, really cool to, to see. So, all right. Uh, if you didn't uh, catch it last week, I we do have it archived on both YouTube and on Twitch. Much different stream today. It's going to be me just kind of hanging out. I did want to get to a, just a couple of bits of news, though. We have got in the works. We just started putting together some bullet points this week for what will ultimately end up being a producer's letter released around the anniversary uh, on the 25th of April. Give or take a, however long it takes to get this whole thing done. But the intention is to get an update that really delves into what you can expect, say, in Update 23 and the rest of the year and things like that. Uh, so we should have that timed around our 11th anniversary here towards the end of April. So that's that's that. And, and again, this is the penultimate weekend for the Spring Festival. You have this weekend and next weekend it gets shut off. 3 a.m. Eastern on Monday, April 9th, and I hope I have that date correct. So, a little bit of time yet to do the Spring Festival. I, we don't currently have an encore in the schedule, but um, that's something we could do in the future if we needed to. Ultimately, we've run the Spring Fest pretty long, so I'm not sure that it's really all that necessary to do an encore this time. But if that's something that you would like, uh, it probably is something we could do. And yeah, another producer's letter fairly close to the last one, but it's really just because we're we're aware that the last producer's letter was um, full of info, but some of that info has changed, and we've got an anniversary coming up. So yeah, we need to we need to get things updated there. So, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, so Tammy over on Facebook, I want to give a shout out to the Osgiliath Guard. Uh, unfortunately, the server is skipping my brain right now. But they are celebrating their their 11th anniversary this weekend. They actually have been around since, I guess, pre-launch somehow or other. And so they're celebrating their 11th anniversary this weekend with kind of an event. And I'm pretty sure you can find something out about that on the forums. Uh, it might even be in the Beacon. I'm not sure if we made it into the Beacon or not. I don't think we did. Uh, but it's also on social media. So if you go to, like, twitter.com slash Lotro, uh, you'll find a link to it. All right, uh, over on YouTube, 
Anything planned for April Fools? Uh, no, sorry. I do love that kind of thing. I, it's an opportunity for community managers to get to finally troll their communities in a way that is corporately acceptable. You probably know that, Druid's Fire. I know nothing about trolling people <laughs> at all, Jerry. What the heck are you talking about? But the reality is I am going to be so busy on Sunday that there's just no way I'm going to get anything done. So I'm sorry. This year is going to be, I will be the April Fool and not... Uh, not actually doing anything for April Fool's Day this year. Sorry. Just uh, the April Fool? Yeah, well, you know, it, it's the day that's recognized. You know, they, they recognize people like myself every April 1st. So I've had some good ones in the past. Most of them have been on the DDO side because, you know, I've had a little bit more power to just kind of do what I wanted to do there for years past. Like for one year, I, I went and said that... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online was going to be headed to consoles, the SNES, and I grabbed a screenshot of Castlevania with the dragon or the demon guy flying in the air, and, and yeah, that was a pretty good one. Uh, I've also had like kobolds take over the Twitter feed and all that, so I, I'm sure in future years you will see the product of my April 1st trolling, but not this year, alas. So, all right, uh, Meredith, we were told Ash would still be continued as a barter currency, but past Mordor, there is nothing for Ash. Uh, can we still get it, but we, we can still get it, but we can't spend it. Will we be getting more gear for Ash in the future? I don't think that's actually true, that there's nothing to get for Ash past Mordor. We have a whole bunch of stuff that uses the uh, Ash of Enchantment in Update 22. But to answer your larger question, yes, uh, we do intend to continue to use the Ash of Enchantment system in subsequent updates here. Yeah, I agree. Lotro Players News, I'm sure they'll have something. They, they're always pretty good for that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, uh, my kid celebrates 11 years on May 16th. Had Herb over on Twitch. Congratulations. I'm not sure when my kinship has its anniversary, but I know it's coming up soon. Yeah. I've been around forever. All right, so I am actually on my, my home right now. This is my temporary personal housing. That I found. And this is actually kind of old school housing, but it was just sitting around for sale, and I figured, what the heck, I'll pick it up. So, anyway, I have my garden dwarf and my dwarf hedge sculpture, and uh, just a few things on the inside at this point. I don't have too much. Really, the, the big effort's going to be the kinship house, um, but that's not quite there yet. I did get the portrait of a shrew, because, you know, that's pretty rad. And then upstairs, I've got uh, the start of some kind of furniture and all that sort of thing. A chair that I repositioned, candelabra, furnace, and all that. And I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff here on the Spring Festival and that for it, too. I haven't really used it a whole lot. I mostly just use it for this uh, chest right here. So, you know, I don't know how much decoration is really necessary. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's there for. So... Once you get the housing bug, you'll start complaining about the lack of housing hooks in old school housing. Um, it's probably true. It is old school housing, but at the same time, it, it's fine. You know, it, it serves the purposes for that I need it for. So, all right. Um, I did like the update that lets us actually adjust the housing hooks a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is a really nice one, actually. I've already been using that. Like I said, I positioned the chair closer to the fireplace and what have you. So, all right, let me actually just go the easy route and just fast travel to... Uh... Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Bree. Yeah. Yeah, West Bree. That's the one that's got the thing on it, right? Yeah. Indeed. I got the tiny house. I will run out of spots to put stuff so fast. Yes, but I am also... Uh, it's almost like I can print my own in-game mithril coins through Lotro points. So when that gets too full... 
I will simply abandon my home and move to a much more fancy one. But really, like I said, I'm actually saving it for the uh, kin house. I have a feeling we'll probably be getting the kin house pretty soon, getting one of those oh, island there. ones if we can. And if they're all full, then we'll get something else. But, you know, we'll see. Yeah, there's still a couple island ones floating around there. Yeah, they, um, they tend you... to go pretty quick. You know, it's one of those things where when we created the island system, uh, I don't know that we got the numbers right. Because <laughs> originally we were, you know, expecting there to be a mix of different things. But the reality is pretty much everybody wants their own island. And that's just pretty much it. So uh, some of the other ones have kind of languished where we don't want to put too many islands out there. Because then you end up with only island neighborhoods, right? But at the same yep. time, we kind of want to meet player demand as well. And player demand is basically... They want lots of island neighborhoods, so. Those islands are pretty gosh darn sweet, I have to admit. That's yeah. why I have two of them. We should have separated the two out so that you could kind of just have as many islands as we could instance and call that done. Well, if Rohan housing is the next big thing, I'm saying if, let's be careful about that, uh, uh, lesson learned. Yeah, exactly right. Could we make available the dragon painting and others that used to be? Um, Brinley, I am actually not entirely familiar with that particular dragon housing item. I don't know why we wouldn't still be offering it. Are you familiar at all with that by any chance, Druid's Fire, in terms of the history of the of an old dragon kind of thing that is no longer around for housing? Uh, no, sir. All right. Yeah. Well, I'd have to check. I, my guess is... I don't know why we wouldn't have it, unless we couldn't have it. Maybe it had to get pulled due to some kind of IP violation or something like that. I mean, who knows, right? Or maybe it was a special order for something. I guess I would need to, to read more about what the, the history of that is. So, Sorry, I don't have a good answer for you. But for the most part, hey, if you want something, we want you to want something. So I, I can't imagine us you know, just arbitrarily taking it away. I've got a lot of the items from the Spring Fest so far, but there's just a lot of things in that vendor that I want. And so I've been uh, hitting the Spring Festival every chance I get, which has not been too much, honestly, in the past week or so, because I've been, you know, busy doing other things. But um, I need well, to get some stuff important. done. Yeah, dad time, exactly right. Yep. Speaking of dad time, if you are looking for a fun thing to do in Boston, the Museum of Science is super rad. You went to the Museum of Science and went, they have a big Van de Graaff generator there. And you can actually go to an electricity show. And in the electricity show, they basically set off uh, the electricity so it's like static all over the place. It's way cool. You know, someone told me these dire beer quests were difficult, but I found it to be really easy. In terms of, I've, I've had it, been able to get it done with lots of minutes left to spare. You're a dwarf, you drink a lot. It doesn't matter what, what race I am though, right? I mean, they all drink the same speed, don't they? For yeah, this particular being quest? funny. Oh, okay. Yes, that was very humorous. Very, very humorous. You realize I can glare at you in person next week, right? <laughs> How do you do? That's true. We do have Paxis coming up. So uh, pretty much, actually, I need to coordinate with you because you've got some names for that Friday meetup, and I've got some names for that Friday meetup, and we should figure Indeed. out how many names we have. <laughs> I have a feeling we're getting close to our limit, but I think there might still be space for another person or two. So if you know you're going to Pax East, 
and you want to hang out with us on Friday at Wagamama starting at 8 p.m. Yes, I know it's a fairly late dinner hour, but I wanted to get past, a little bit past or at least towards the end of their dinner rush so that we could take over a couple of large tables. Uh, that's going to be happening Friday, April 6th, 8 p.m. at Wagamama. That is within walking distance of the convention center. It's not right next to it, but it's down on the waterfront a little bit. And it's well, maybe five the minute seaport. walk. Yeah, the seaport. It's pretty close. It was actually a pretty good get, to be honest, because Friday night at PAX East is not easy to find a space to hang out because they tend to be real busy and a lot of game companies and that are doing their kind of promotional things and, and the industry is doing its promotional things and everyone's promotionalizing it themselves up and using up all the space. So that's, uh, what? We got lucky. I was able to get in a reservation for a table of about 15-ish, uh, 15 to 20 at Wagamama. And again, so 8 p.m. This is your own bill. You're paying your own for your own dinner. Unless I can convince Sev to give me his credit card. Should be fun. Uh, I'll be there. Um, Positively Evil will be there if everybody wants to meet him. Uh, McVegan Pants will be there. Um, Along with the guests. And I've, I've, got, I've got, I think, three or four people, uh, other Locher and DDO players that said they're going to be there. Uh, again, I have soft commitments at this point oh, with Dr. Octothorpe and uh, No Bob. Uh, Bob. No Bob uh, is a DDO dev, because this is also a DDO meetup. If you're a DDO or Locher player, you are welcome to attend. And we actually have a lot of crossover there. I think most of the people who, who are going to be attending actually play, at least have played both games. So, uh, and, and No Bob has actually professor. worked... As uh, I know, Bob has actually worked on Mocher too in the past. So, yep, uh, the Tolkien professor will be there. Yep, yep, Corey Olson will be there. So, yeah, yeah I think we're going to have a nice, nice full crowd, and it should be a good time. Uh, we'll probably go from about eight to ten p.m. Uh, that, in terms of, that's what the I think they close around ten. Wagamama. Yep. That doesn't necessarily mean the night will be over, but I think the official part of the night will be over at uh, ten p.m. I think there'll be a little bit of swag. Yep. Uh, there will definitely be some swag. I can't promise the kind of nice hoodies and everything that I've done in the past just because most of that stuff is already given out. We just were running way low on supplies uh, for swag. But I do have some things that I can bring, both Lotro and DDO related, and I plan to do that here. So. But uh, I don't want to carry around a bunch of sizes of things that people can't fit into, because that happens. But let me just say this. If you know you're going to PAX East, and you are size large in terms of t-shirts and hoodies, let me know. Because we have pretty much out of every size of every kind of clothing-related swag, except for large. We've got a whole bunch of larges left. It's almost as if people are small. Or they are more my sized. And so the smalls and mediums and extra larges tend to disappear quickly, and then we end up with a bunch of larges left over. It's the middle child of swag sizing. Yep, I have a couple of things from the other side that I will be bringing uh, from when I shook you down at Gen Con for swag. Yep. <laughs> it's not terrible to be thought. fair, you didn't just <laughs> shake me down. It was also an opportunity for me to lighten my load because I was had a lot of heavy stuff I was carrying that day. And my back was causing me trouble. Yep. So, you took advantage. You were like, let's see. This guy doesn't no, want to carry I around. No, I of anything. I was helping a friend, you ding-dong. Well, it was also just like, you know... I like to give away things. You don't want to carry things. I think we have some common ground here from which to work. It's a supply and demand sort of thing, isn't it? We yep. are practicing mini economics right there. Okay, I cannot believe I'm actually lost right now, but I'm kind of lost right now. 
This is my lack of surprise face. Well, I mean, normally I've actually been pretty good at the hedge maze here. Well, you are distracted as usual. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, you kind of wander around until you get all the elves and beers and all that sort of thing. And so then, by that point, then I tend to find myself sometimes a little bit turned around in terms of where I am. But here we go. I, I found it now. And if you stay near your friendly brand new hunter alt, by the way, for, for the stream's purpose, uh, I switched which alt I'm going to be running on this show because hunter ports for the win. What you need? I need your spring leaves, man. Fork them over. Welcome. You come at a most fortuitous time. How can I be of service? Yeah, the spring leaves remind me of that scene in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where, you know, the stupid humans left after the destruction of planet Earth and on the arcs were deciding that leaves were the appropriate currency for their new colony. <laughs> nice. I miss Douglas Adams. He was so much fun to talk to. Now you got me lost. What the heck, Jerry? You're not going to Pax East because, well, Germany? Yeah, I can understand that. But you would actually... Oh, okay. So, Elder, the problem with trying to send something to you, and I've tried this in the past, is you're in Germany. And things like sent international shipping is... difficult. I mean, it's not that it's... I guess I should clarify. It's difficult in terms of getting somebody to pay for it who is not me and I don't really it's kind of spendy to mail something to Germany sometimes I've bitten the bullet and just paid for shipping myself to players of swag over the years I actually I've probably spent hundreds of dollars doing that but there gets to be a certain point where it's like okay is it really gonna cost 50 bucks to mail something I don't really want to spend 50 bucks of my own money on it you know so I <laughs> uh, Tolerian saying I've got to practice my sort of sentence structure, you know, what we're going to say like, "Oh, it's your first time at Pax East and all that." I've actually this we've done hang I've done hangouts just about every year, uh, if not for Lotro, then for the other game as well at things like Gen Con and Pax East. Every time I go to that kind of thing, even if it's unofficial, I mean back in the old podcast days, I used to hold convention meetups. So usually it's actually pretty fun because you get a group of Lotro players in a room together, and guess what? People want to talk. Lots of Lotro. And so we're just, you know, you get talking about your builds and the areas and systems and kind of min-maxing. And, you know, then you get to feature requests and, hey, what, you know, now that I've actually got someone who works at SSG, why won't you fix the thing I want you to fix or do the thing I want you to do? And all that stuff is cool to ask, you know, it's fun. And so it, it actually tends to usually um, be no problem at all to fill a couple hours of conversation. It's always good to nerd out with your fellow players, honestly. It's just it's just so much fun. Yep. Like these are my people. Yeah, that's right. Finally, somebody who knows what the hell I'm talking about. What I should do is if someone comes up to me, I should be like, make a phone. And I post up a little piece of cardboard with some di quest dialogue on it. Now that would actually be funny. Are, are you sure you're How all right? You're actually you? making funny? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, Elda. That's uh, that's interesting to, to note. Uh, that sounds cool, then. If you're going to be back later this year, 
then uh, I'll deal with mailing you stuff then. It'll or you can mail her stuff now. Do. She she's military mailing, so it's like mailing to inside the U.S. Okay. Well, yeah, I can look into that. But I'd I'd want to. I've got a flag with your name on it, Elda. And I was looking to mail that the the while back, and then it was like the company wasn't willing to mail it, just due to kind of internal policy. And I didn't want to pay for it myself. Oh yeah, Zeus is gonna be there too. Lotus Dreamlocks. Greetings, traveler. I really like this Maze Master one because it talk like about a super me? quick way to get a spring leaf. The only thing I, I'm a little bummed on is I ran the quest that's over by Trestle Bridge, and I thought I could run it more than once. And ever since I completed the quest, the guy won't talk to me anymore. And so that's been a bummer because I wanted I got the clover patch, but I also wanted some other stuff. And I think I'm gonna have to wait till next year's festival to get that. Or the encore if we do get an encore. You know, just uh, to say, just to say it, Zeus. I am totally cool with taking pictures of people, uh, with people, if you feel like it. Not like I'm at all famous or anything like that, but every now and then people want to get a picture of me, and I would be happy to do that. So if you do see me running around PAX East, I'll probably be wearing a Lotro hoodie. Feel free to come up and say hi. I, I love talking with people, so. You are not interrupting. That's fine. I'll be running all over PAX East all weekend long. I've got press interviews out. Mm. It'll be a busy day. That's cool. What busy weekend. For you? I myself uh, am mostly just going to be in the exhibit hall that Friday. Uh, I'll be doing some kind of industry-related things elsewhere and otherwise throughout that weekend. But in terms of just me, you know, paying my own way and hanging out and having fun in the exhibit hall, I, I set aside Friday for that. Although... Even then, I've had a few people who were just like, Hey, can we talk to you about X? And I was like, oh, okay, fine. So I am doing a little bit of that kind of thing. Even on my day off, as it were. But that's okay. It's all for fun. I am so lucky to be able to do what I do. That if, if occasionally, if it is a minor inconvenience to me, it's just like, you know what? Count yourself lucky, dude. But man, I like PAX. I like going to the exhibit hall. And I want to see stuff. And I've only got Friday to see stuff. I couldn't get a four-day pass because they sold out too quick this year. Would you do something for me? That's why you get the press pass, dude. Well, I'm not a member of the press. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah. But yes, you are correct. Press passes are the absolute best tickets to any of those conventions. I used to get uh, be able to get legit press passes to Gen Con because I was a member of the uh, news media that was not only sort of national newswire, but also I was a state correspondent in Indiana. So I had like an actual legit news reason to be there. And that was the best. No lines. Everyone wants to talk to you. Get in for free. Yeah, with PAX, you still have to deal with the lines, uh, and you get in for free, and you get an hour early on uh, press day, or press hour, like Thursday morning that. this year. But that's all you get for, uh, for press for PAX. So is the Spring Festival run the fastest return of spring leaves? Because you get three... And that thing really takes, like, almost no time. I wonder if there's any... If that isn't the best one. Saying legit, you mean you had unlegit in the past? No, 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 I would never take advantage of being a member of the press to get into something for free. <clears throat> 
no. I, to be fair, though, I usually was actually working. But then I wasn't always working, and I had the opportunity to do things on my time off, too. So, uh, Festival encores have become such a known thing that I feel like a lot of folks would be bewildered and salty if there isn't one this time. You know, that, that thought had actually occurred to me as well. I think that's something we're going to have to take a look at. Um, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we should uh, put one in for that exact reason. Stu Shrew sh stomping is the best for leaves. Uh, I, yeah. Where do I do that again? I can't remember. Dweeland over in Calendon. Dweeland? Yeah, okay. The elf, please. All right, I will please do this one house. more time for you. I have to tell you, though, I am not a fan of... Dweeland. So you say Dweeland? Yep, Dweeland. So you take the... Fast travel back to Bree, fast travel back nah, I just, to uh, I just killed him. Away. That's fine. Uh, I'll catch up when I'm Oh yeah, and then there's this in. cave here, that's right. Yeah. Yep. I am not a fan of, stu of sh shrew stomping. It bothers me. It doesn't hurt anybody. Mm. Will you lend me your ear? This bit's in a computer, Jerry, it's okay. Tendi so game does not advocate the abuse of animals. Will you lend me your ear? Orcs, not so much. What can I do for you? Um I see collect flowers, how the Shire shrew shoes shrews. Is it uh, Dinidrine that I'm supposed to be talking to? Because I don't see a coin above his head. Do you think it's just not ready yet? Uh, I think it's somebody else. Uh, it should be somebody standing up upright nearby. Four lot of Close to gardener. the stairs going out. Oh, here we go. Will you lend me your ear? Stay a moment. You know, I think we probably... I, I don't think there's any particular reason we don't have a Spring Fest Encore currently scheduled. I think it's just mostly that we were able to get the Spring Festival for really a whole month here. I think we had, like, four full weekends. And so, to some extent, you know, how much interest is there in doing it? But it does sound like there actually is some interest there, so... You know. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Seven Leaves are the Broken Borings. Yeah, and by the way, Broken Borings, that's the one I'm thinking of. Now, that that one is just a, a one-time only, right? Because I didn't see a cooldown, and the guy won't talk to me again. So I'm assuming it's just a once-per-year per event, right? You need to get the big boots, by the way. I have them. Okay. I, chat might be behind. Boots of quite imaginable power? There's two sets of boots. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, enormous boots. There we go. Okay. I'm just trying to keep an eye on chat here. Let's see. Is there a PAX East every year in April? If so, I will go next year. Yeah, it, it's not always in April. Uh, it's, but it's usually around this time of the year. I think they've done it any time from 
early March to about mid-April. So I think they like learned that. a lesson about March. Yeah, well, it is Boston, right? Was it last year that there was like all frozen and full of snow? Uh, a couple of years ago, I think that was the yeah. year I met Free or we hung out with Free Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Just talk to the guy at the front. So, okay, well, I'll have to do that, Teleri. And for some reason, I, I tried to go back there because I want to get the, uh, I want to get some more of the reward items there. I want to get the hat and that sort of thing. Okay, let me stomp shrews, and then I will be back. Ah, we try to stomp shrews, and then I will get back. Stomp all the shrews. gotten two shrews so far what the heck three okay insert learn to play joke here <laughs> i am learning to play no for some reason they're just not uh... i guess there's just too many people doing it they're taking my shrews, man. I got a tome of a dusty shrew from uh, the one box from that one lady. I failed it. Ah. Uh. Somebody else got it. Haha. -ha. Good job, other person. Good job. Two funny more shrews to get. Nine. Come on. Number nine. Number nine. All right, there we go. Got all the shrews. That's a good question for you in chat. Okay. Uh, can we expect a new producer's letter at some point? Yes. Uh, we will be working on getting that out most likely around the anniversary time frame. Uh, we just this week started put putting together um, Dr. Octothorpe in large part, along with uh, Sev, started putting together really a list of bullet points that we want for uh, this year's festival, or not this year's, sorry, uh, this next producer's letter. Um, so it's just a matter of um, turning those bullet points into a thing. And that should be happening in the coming weeks here. Can I do for you? All right. I have now stomped shrews. Let me head back to uh, Broken Borings. Broken Borings. I, I want to get to uh, quick some YouTube questions here as well. Any chance we could get an update to skirmishes? A lot of the gear at the vendors has never been updated. Um, I do think we have some plans to do some kind of skirmish work, but I don't really think that involves a lot of uh, updating of older stuff. So I think you might not really like it. So isn't isn't broken borings broken borings broken borings what was that again uh broken borings broken borings isn't that in breland no because it's in the shire oh okay there's no uh swift travel there you have to go to like mickle delving and either there just ride over have or, coins. or there's that if you are money pegs make lotro points there's a fun name for a character, right? Yeah. 
So anyway, I do think we will see some uh, skirmish updates, but it won't be uh, probably redoing all the loot for the older skirmishes. Sorry. About Warden and Bjorning, is it intended that this classes can't use the new runes with tact damage, phi damage, or tack healing? Um, is it intended? Stay and have some tea. I would say. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have a good answer to that one. I'm sorry. Might I have a word with you? Good day. Might I have a word with you? Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Whoa, I failed it. How did I fail it? Oh, because I, I'm on one path. Oops. Now I fell off the fence. That's why I failed that one. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Ah, darn it. Man, the first time I ran this, it was a piece of cake. I just sort of did it. I don't know why I'm having trouble this time. time. Beginner's luck? Yeah, I guess. Ah, dang it. Let's see. Back to the questions, though. Erurin. Well, if you are at uh, Pax East, let me know, huh? I think people are talking about headsets on YouTube, but I'm not quite sure. Um, these things are so much easier if you turn down the graphics, lol. Oh, that's interesting. That probably makes sense. But I'm okay. Any reason why the south route has a cooldown while the north does not? I don't know. That sounds like an oversight to me. That seems weird to me. My guess is it's just an oversight. Oh, dang it. I almost did it. Then I fell off almost the Almost only the very counts end. in horseshoes, hand grenades, and thermonuclear yep. war. Any idea how long the episodic is meant to go for, or at least the first? Uh, last one was a to be continued. I don't know that we're ready to announce. I, I assume you're talking about the Black Book of Mordor. I don't think we have an official sort of statement as to how long we're going to be going with it. Some of that may be spoilery. But, um, it will have an ending. Man, I am the worst at this today. Maybe it's this, yeah, it's the keyboard. That's what it is. Uh -huh. Oh, are, are you actually blaming? Oh, yeah. pity the fool that blames his tools. Yeah. Oh, you're referring to the lay of rust and rhyme.
I don't know how many episodes uh, Elise and crew uh, put together for that. But it too has an ending. Alright, you know, maybe I should just give up on this. I can't believe I'm having so much trouble. Like I said, I did it the last time. I just went doom, 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 doom. Just did it. You're right, maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. Ah. It's like the force. You gotta relax and just let your mind go zen on it. Yeah. Well, okay, going zen is fine, Cheryl. Whatever. There's always room for a Star Wars joke in there somewhere. Dang it. Okay, I, I am truly just embarrassing myself on this one. Uh, can I confirm the rumors? The next update is an instance cluster. I cannot confirm those rumors. Uh, the last official word is what you can hear uh, Sev and Dr. Octothorpe say during last week's show. Where Sev outed himself as a stat nerd. Oh, yeah. I don't th really did people not know that. I don't think they really know Sev that well because, you know, he, we're he's new to us. So on the Lotro side, on the DDO side, everybody of course knew him. I think that's the first time I actually uh, met you uh, when I was doing a, 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 I got invited to one of the press things you guys were doing, and it's like, oh, who's this guy? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? <laughs> Go or use your common fence. Oh, I love it. That is my kind of joke. Actually, I, part of this, it might be this awful mouse I'm using, though. Because I keep side swiping off the fence. Could I take a moment of your time? Because I was at home last time I ran it. So maybe that does make a difference. No! Dang it. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am entertained. It, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I should just give up for now. I will do this at a later date and get my marks. So. Besides, that sound is starting to drive me nuts. The that he does. Stina Hype in the chat. Oh, Eleven years evil. of Locher, I complete the fence quest five times. Okay. Wow. I <laughs> need the Benny Hill music, you're right. We totally do. See, you can kind of whistle it or something and you won't get the stream muted. Yeah. So I think, uh, oh, that actually reminds me, next week's show is likely to not exist. It being the Friday of PAX East that I just said I was going to be spending the whole day at the exhibit hall and show floor and that sort of thing. So we will not be doing a show next Friday. So. Neither will I, strangely enough. Or Professor Corey, either. Okay, well, I'm going to be done with the live stream here in just a little bit. So why don't you just run it out of batteries if you want. And then I will uh, be done. Yep. Do you want to say hello to the live stream? Here, let's get those headphones off you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is my son, Jeffrey, here to say hello. See, look at that. You're, you're on the green screen. There's no background, is there? Pretty funny. <laughs> he 
plays this game better than you do, Jerry. Yeah, it's true. Yep. All right, you know, actually, I think I'm going to end the stream here just a few minutes early here because I do have my son with me. And I know that you're ready to take over for me as well, Druid's Fire. What do you have on tap today? Um, I don't know. Probably something uh, later because uh, Corey's up next, actually. So, um, oh, okay. He'll, he'll probably right, hear right. when he gets here. So. Okay, cool. And then you are on later today. And we do have the full schedule over on twitch.tv slash stream. You can find a Google Calendar with all that information. So I will see you in two weeks post PAX. I will see you in you, one week. Yeah, and if you're going to PAX, uh, keep an eye out for me. I will be available to get you some swag and what have you. All right, thanks very much for watching here on this casual Friday Court of the Rings. I'll be back in two weeks with some more uh, info for you. By that point, we should have some more info on uh, our next point update in addition to producers' letter stuff. So until then, have fun, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>